look how shiny that nigga is. Yes. So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. I love this game. Frieza! And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The realist. The fucking realist. The mysterious savior from the future. Yeah. <laughs> Do I get to play as trunks? Do I get to body all these niggas? Or is he gonna do the thing? Ow! Well now, it Ow! seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. <laughs> oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. Will it? That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here. Talk your shit, my boy. Ah. I love this game. Mm. So good. To die. The only one died. Shut up. Shut the fuck. Shut up. Shut up. Hold on, hold on. Wait, do I? Oh, I'm tripping. Ooh, burning attack. Hold on. I'll do the... Ah! Ooh! Sign short attack. Come here. I want to try my moves on you. Ooh. All right. First off. Mmm, baby. Ow, ow. Mysterious youth. That's such a beautiful callback. Oh! Stupid. Come here. I'm done! Stupid. Stupid. Sam, for real. Stupid. Hold this. Oh! Ow! Stupid. Oh, wee! Ah! Nigga. I hope they do the scene. I doubt it. We're like, he holds the death ball. Oh man. No, but ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Delicious. It's impossible. Run my fade, King Cole. Bang! God damn, they didn't waste they didn't do no bullshit. Golly, trunks. Huh? 
Cool. Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? Don't worry. This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Huh? <laughs> you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope. Never seen him before. That reminds me. Who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? Yamcha, do you want to run this fade, my boy? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? Yamcha know he don't want this fucking smoke. Look at this fucking fit. I guess I better go. Golly, the drip is crazy. Oh my goodness. I like God dang. Oh baby. This shit cleaned and all. Look at Vegeta. Your drip sure fucking he could turn into trash. <laughs> Now's not the time for idle chatter, Kakarot. You just mad cause your shirt whack, bitch ass nigga. Okay. Let's my nigga Trunks got the drip though. God dang. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask. Would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. Sensational. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. These hands. I'm about to duff your shit with all this drip I got. God dang. God dang. Oh, god dang. God dang. Oh, Superman. I forgot. I forgot Goku's whole moveset. Oh, baby. You messed it up, baby. Oh. Stop that. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh! Hold that. Hold that, my boy. Oh, oh, oh! Look at this. You're over anxious. You're over anxious. All right, I'm over anxious. Hold this. Hold this. Oh my gosh, you're just getting countered left and right, my boy. Ow! Alright. Stupid. Oh my... Ow! Ow! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, hold this. Stupid. Just changed history for no reason. Put that nigga in the dirt. Put that nigga in the motherfucking dirt. How oh, am I? Look at you, scuffed up. You're just as good as I'd heard. And the drip, the drip is unfazed. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. <laughs> Why didn't you just say Trunks, Vegeta's son? What? Vegeta's son? Actually, you're just yelling the shit out, my boy. You mention it. You do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island 
five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're aliens. Cyborgs. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh, yeah. When I was just a little guy. <laughs> I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait. Uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. Twenty. <laughs> Why the music now, changed so the drastic? Fighter left. In the fight. Three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone. The Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. You're welcome. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? <laughs> and the only person I know who can do that is... Oolong. No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. <laughs> Please, make sure. It <laughs> just me. makes no sense. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. Yeah, my boy. Oh, that's this. Yay. Got two D medals. Well, now I just got to figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. 
Hey, hey, Goku. We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Don't worry. Oh, uh, uh him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? Why did y'all say that? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? That's what you worried about, bro? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? You hanging on a trip, mad boy. Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more. But they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. <laughs> the weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> Hater, you a hater, Vegeta. All right, I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at nine. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. Yeah. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. Vegeta, bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> then they have to chuckle at you. All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! Alright, see you guys soon. Or in three years. Right. But right now, it's time for me to whip my son into shape. Best Don't care. Are oh, you still trying to run down on me? Like, get back. Uh, Dad! What's up? Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? Alright, for starters... I want the both of you to come at me. I'm both to. of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? I will duff both of y'all. Go on. I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. I'm about to beat the shit out of y'all. Y'all should know better. My cost, let's see what you two can do. Stupid, 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 stupid. Stupid. Mr. Piccolo, 
stupid. Let's go on. Come here, fool. Stupid. Look at you. You think I don't see that? Oh, I didn't see that. Stupid. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that. Now I can hold that together. Go on. I'm coming for you. So what's all this I hear about, you know, Everyone calling Krillin or everyone calling uh calling Piccolo your dad. What's all that about? Explain yourself! Oh damn. Stupid. Get back. I'm not seeing me. Dial it up, dial it up, dial it up. I'm, about to, I'm not going easy on you. You wish I did, but I'm not. You gotta rub my fade. Stupid. Boom. What? Stupid. Hold this. Boy. Come on. Stupid. You played yourself. Doesn't matter what you do. Boom. Look at you. Come here. Oh, wait. Stupid. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Ow. That's cute. These hands. Oh, baby. I beat the shit out of my son. Hell no! Nah. Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta, Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. What is this? <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? Yeah, this that man. What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put <laughs> you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're going to be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. And then they in space crying, getting pissed off. Damn, I leveled up again. Sensational. All right, y'all. This is where I will end this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you know when I upload part 7. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yay, wait. Part 8. 7, 8, 9. Yeah, part 8. Upload. Keep the notification bell ringing.
so you know when I upload part 8. I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah!